Good morning, folks. The planets don't foretell strong solar activity until the end of the month, but we're going to have to keep our eyes open on the eastern half of our star. Solar tornadoes, plasma, sunspots, all sitting between the current corona hole and the next one. Thus far, activity has remained low, especially in the flaring category, but the sunspot number is about to be on the rise. Let's start by coming to spaceweathernews.com and looking at the current corona hole dominating the Earth-facing disk. There were no big CMEs or flares in the last day, and X-ray flux still just in B and C class range. But as I said, the sunspots are becoming more numerous, coming in to face Earth, playing with beta polarity, and have friends and route at the limb as we speak. Had two gamma ray bursts in the last day, one from Eridanus in the south and up north in Boots. The solar wind speed in yellow continues to rise as we are entering the start of the stream from those dark coronal holes. Intensity is expected to rise further and so geomagnetic storms are expected in the next day or two. The K and Q indices already showing storm conditions out of Corona. Folks, we've got some new images from Pluto, and I'm smiling and resentful at the same time. I see no reason why these packets can't come back and be delivered in color. It's almost like we're being messed with, like here, have half of what we're capable of giving you. Nevertheless, the shots are still incredible, and boy, this really looks like a frozen Earth. If the whole ocean froze, it would fracture, kind of like this. The ripples mirroring wind-driven features of snow on Earth, including the snowy mountains, that's more than just shadows at play there. We already know Pluto is mostly water ice, and these images do nothing to change that perception. Weather news includes continued flooding in India that took out hospital equipment. The tragedy is ongoing. The Caribbean Atmospheric Moisture Company got an order from Europe, but they messed up the decimal point and ordered too much. Now there is a line of storms heading right out and up the Atlantic to the Earth spots affecting Europe. Flooding and storms already affected Ireland, the UK, Norway, Sweden, and more. Well, folks, all of our free websites, spaceweathernews.com, quakewatch.net, and magneticreversal.org were taken down two nights ago by a massively coordinated DDoS attack. They're back up. They actually attempted to hit our main site, suspiciousobservers.org, and failed, so they went after the free, non-protected public resources. Anyway, it was a retaliation for this. Go to the premium button at suspiciousobservers.org, click Deeper Look, scroll down to episode 94, and regardless of whether or not you agree with me on CERN, watch the last minute or so and see who clearly did this DDoS attack. By the way, yesterday's fly on the wall was quite the good one indeed, and needed. I eat crow on one topic, we discuss some scary stuff going on in the atmosphere, we talk about the galactic plane, and more, including a look at a jet stream anomaly from earlier this week. And speaking of such anomalies, hey, you get back on your side of the equator. We did Europe, we're going to do the rest, and as always, shots of our star to close. It's 5.45 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.